Hey y'all, it's me, the creative lady, and this is Napulicious TV. Today is officially Friday morning at 12.22 a.m. Of course, I've been asleep. I'm in the restroom, so you may hear um, an echo. But I went ahead and installed the wave formers in my hair. Now, I was not intending to do it, and then I thought, well, let me just put some across the front before I, you know, do the real thing just as a little test, right? Next thing you know, this across the front became all of these, okay? Um, so let me give you my first impressions about the installation of a whole head. If you order these or get these or whatever, um, you may want to always start in the back with the application. Now, my hair was not fully wet. My hair was dry from what I did in uh, this video when it was a wash and go. And then in the middle of a live, a subscriber asked me to demo the installation of the waveformer. So I did that and then I had to do, you know, two on each side to make it balanced because I was gonna wear that hair to work. So with that, um, I got these in. Now, I got four packs and each pack has, um, I think it's 12. And this one is six yellow and six blue, okay? And to me, I don't really see a whole lot of difference between the colors in terms of shape, but I did find <clears throat> that the yellow ones seem a little wider than the blue ones, but it could just be my imagination. I don't know. I have not measured because otherwise they're all the same length, you know, and they all curve and wave in the same pattern because they kind of nest together so I can't figure out what the difference is so I, I don't know so my my thing was I just kind of tried to keep them together on this side and then I'm thinking well if this one is a little wider let me you know just at least put one on the front to see if it give a deeper wave right so that's the way I did that and then I, on this side I just started putting them in however I grabbed them the back may not look like I want it because I got that center part. Again, if I was really planning like I wanted to, I would have had a section here, a section here, one here, and maybe two in the back or vice versa, okay? Uh, like the brick layer. I kind of thought of tried to do it that way, but, you know, and I wasn't concerned about not having enough rollers, so I did use small sections of hair. Um, what else? Small sections of hair. Okay, my hair was like the in a wash and go state, one day old. So I took this water bottle with just plain water in it, and I kept it on the mister, you know, the mist spray part. And I debated on what products to put in my hair because I know from the wash and go that I wanted something that had holes. So let me show you all the products that I auditioned, okay? Mind you, I am a semi-product junkie. So, I've tried to put in the lineup the Shea Moisture Frizz Free Curl Mousse. I put that in the lineup. I think it made it on one section of hair. I pulled out this Garnier Fructis uh, Curl Shape and it's a defining spray gel. Um, yeah, and it's supposed to have a level two hold. I didn't use that. I pulled out my Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink, which is a clear flaxseed elongation gel. Um, but I couldn't remember whether it had hold or not, so I put that back. Then I pulled out this um, Hawaiian Silky Herbal Styling Mousse. Okay, pulled that out. I did not use, I didn't use that. I even pulled out my Uncle Funky's Curly Magic. 
curl stimulator. I did not use that. Um, but yo, so that's uh, everything for the audition. So let me show you what I actually ended up using. All of these, I wanted to kind of give them a go, but then I'm like, I got to go to work tomorrow and I'm just going to stick to one product because I was going to do the, I think I was going to go mousse on one side and then this product on the other i couldn't find one product that i was looking for because this is a random thing so i ended up using the product that i purchased today the miel or the miel um pomegranate and honey sculpting the curl sculpting custard i used that and then i went in with the miel honey and ginger styling gel so hold on y'all these sticks will fall everywhere the rods or the hooks or whatever and I got something to tell you about those too so um oh and I also started to go with this so here it is I started to go back with the uh, main choice uh, um, crystal orchid styling gel or the gel but I didn't go with that either but that's what I had on my hair um, when I did the, the, the bang test so I ended up using the Myel Organics and the water bottle. So I would mist my hair to make sure that it was, you know, moist and pliable, but not soaking wet because it is late. And then I put a little bit of the Curl Sculpting Coast Custard on it. And then I put just a pea size of this um, styling gel because I didn't want it to be too crunchy. And since these all are from the same product line i'm like well hopefully they blend well together i do have a way i test products in the palm of my hand and i'll link that video here it was actually featured over on curly nikki a long time ago so if you see that going on this is the originator okay but anyway not important but just so that you know um but yeah so i put that all over uh, I, like I said, I worked my hair in sections, um, and because I ordered four packs, I got four of the hooks, right? So what I did was I preloaded each one of the hooks so that once I, you know, was going, I could roll through four at a time, you know, and then reload, which made it go a lot faster. I think it only took me about 30, 30 to 40 minutes tops to put these in and, and maybe not that long but i was just poking along i wasn't in a hurry standing up in the bathroom wasn't even you know watching tv or anything just in my own mind and thoughts okay so i loaded preloaded the uh, hooks when i was you know like machining it now if you had somebody helping you like a kid or your husband or wife or somebody that might be good too so you don't even have to worry about it now another tip that i have for you is like I said they all kind of nest together see they're all the same shape the wavy shape um, but what I find is you can put them in wrong and what you don't want to have is it going that way okay because it may not uh, it might give you some volume, but I don't think it's going to lay flat. I think it might give you a hump, but you can always try it. But I prefer to have mine to ensure that it was like this. So, to ensure that I put them on the hook correct, I had to do a little try, a lot of trial and error. Okay, when I got ready to load the waveformer, okay? I took it and I made sure that the, I'm calling it the mouth, <laughs> the mouth end was up, okay? And I had the hook part the, with the eye, the hook and eye over to the right. So when I fed it through, it was the mouth side opened up and the hook mouth side opened to the right, okay? So when I loaded it, okay, and I loaded on and put it on my hair, when it um hold on, let me show you when it released it's down like that okay so if you do it any other way you might have to you know waste time um taking it down and redoing it so 
when you load them, load them with the this side pointing to the right and the curved side of the roller up, of the wave former turned up, okay? Up and to the right. So that was my little uh, learning, you know, to make it go faster and easy to install these um, curl wave formers. I mean, they're kind of like the curl formers, but they're forming waves as opposed to the curl formers, okay? Um, <laughs> if you are working in the bathroom like I am, you've got product on your hand, you've got water going on, and these things are long. <laughs> And they can get slippery, you know, you reaching and pulling and bumping and carrying on. I, I don't know what I did, but one of them shot out my hand and almost went into the toilet. I was like, I, it was almost a slow motion thing. Like, please do not go in the toilet. It landed, thank goodness, on the other side of the toilet. But it was like, pew. I was like, ah! So, yeah. So, just close the lid on the toilet. Um, make sure you've got ample room around you as a product junkie right now. I've got stuff all over because I was auditioning a lot of products. My door is right here. Make sure you've got room because when you're pulling, the rod is, you know, this thing is very long when you're pulling. And for me, when I was pulling through, it feels like this thing is not going to, uh, it feels like you've lost some of it inside here. But just stand back and, you know, grab it and just kind of hold it and smooth it out that way and it will you know normally I didn't have any problem with anything getting tangled or anything so and even though people say that it's a little flimsy it is compared to the original curl former rod or the hook but I mean it's it's okay I, I, it doesn't bother me I think it's, it's suitable for what it is and at least I've got four okay so every pack that you order, if you order from the vendor that I, I ordered from on eBay, you will get four um, hooks, one in each pack, how many ever packs that you order. Uh, there are 12 in each pack. So that's, I think, it for now. Sleeping, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to sleep on them at this point because I'm not about to fit underneath the dryer. So I'm just crossing my fingers that they dry in time because if not, it will be another puff for me later today so i will probably try to come on um live or connect this together i'm not exactly sure how i want to put it together but i will um come together to show you the end result because the installation there's plenty of videos online to show you how they're installed but i just kind of want to give you a talk through but you see how this one right here this is the one that i put in you see how it's curved up and it's trying to come out. So I am going to take this one out and reinstall it because that was back before I figured out the technique. So just to show you how it works, I'm going to leave the mouth open on this curved up the hook to the right. Okay. So I'm going to put it down. I am actually going to mist it with a little water. Um, okay, just to reactivate any product. So, yep, that was like the first one that I did in the back. So, I twist my hair around two or three times. Okay, or whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay, and then I don't know if you can see that, but because I twisted my hair at the root, all of my hairs are in there, so I pull that down. And then I see how I'm bringing it up so I can have a little hook to work with. And with that, you see that I have to pull out like that. So now this one is actually secure. So now I don't have any other one that's just hanging. Everything is secured in a great um, way to hopefully survive the night. <sighs> okay, if I had to fit underneath the hooded dryer, they're not as bulky as the curl formers were. So I think they're kind of flat in a way. So this is it, y'all. And I'm going to come back and show you the reveal. I'm also going to do, I can see more, you know, product tests with these. So 
that's it. So that's it. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye y'all.